Welcome to the OK Taco Show. You're getting a bird's eye view of the road as we drive it. Ka -ka! My name is Conrad. The man driving is Shannon. Ba body. 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 So, um, anyways, we're headed... driving comfortable. We're you heading know? back from Meeker, Oklahoma to Sparks, Oklahoma. Yep, home of the Sparks. Spiders. Spiders. Uh, bike Week and Mud Roulette, whatever that is. Mud. And if you're confused, Sparks America, not Oklahoma. Right. So, look it up! You know, we've been busy past couple days. Lots of thinking. Yeah, I mean, too much thinking. I don't know. I don't know, Conrad, how much you have. Nothing. I've not said a word. Good. Well, I mean, I, I'm just going to throw it out. The next couple, I'm going to say week or two. It's going to be kind of strange. Uh, maybe the next month. Sure. We don't know how long it takes, but it's just going to be a difficult month guys and I'm gonna I'm right up top right up here top but apologize for a little bit more scatterbrain more than normal so yeah. we can't stay on topic please just know that we've it's all it's all part of the process yeah it's all part of the plan or I just it, unplanned plan we're gonna plan. be we're going to be a little bit out of sorts. I'm not going to speak for my main man, Conrad. He can stay on point with a lot of stuff going on. But me? Yeah, but I don't know if that's... I even... I don't know if I can. There's too much... Well, bud... Too much I, thinking in my head going on right now. You've been... You've been a while... You've been that for a bit. Yep. And I've... I've... I could tell a little bit. I know no one else can. I could tell a little bit. But when I pass a sign that says peanut butter hamburger... Yeah, but, and, and I, I tell you, you about it, and I don't even get a, I don't even get a, a half smile. Nothing. Like, what? I don't even get a what? Not I just. What. So I'm just, I'm just warning everybody, for the next little bit, and I don't know how long. I, I'm going to say the longest, probably four weeks. But maybe more. Could be more. Yeah, technically. Technically, four weeks is the end is when it's supposed to be done at the latest. Well, but I, I don't know. No, I didn't we know that know to start with. I was guessing, but the you know everything that the, the little I've heard and the kind of the way I think about stuff. You know what I mean? Yeah. Sometimes I'm pretty close. Yep. On, you know, guessing it's just guesstimates, but I'm going to say you know. The way the world is now, where it's in some ways it's way more hectic, in some ways it's kind of calm now, just a skosh. Yeah. I'm gonna still put it out a, about a month, hopefully sooner. I don't know. I I mean, but you know, we can announce it when we can announce it. Right. We can't say we, anything. We can't and say I hate, anything. We hate. I hate. I'm gonna tell you that right now. I hate holding stuff back. Mm. I, I hate kids. I get I get word constipated. I get thought constipated, and if I can't blurt it out, get it out of my system. But I just keep getting packed in. Yep, I agree. I'm. And, and by the way, after we we have a, a big a big huge release, which is going to be glorious, epic, and glorious. It's going to feel great to get you all guys on the same page. Um, everything after that is going to be pretty, pretty hectic. Yeah. Like the time after is not going to be any more, less of a craziness. It will amplify. Ooh, big amplify. But I, uh, for now, there's just so much stuff to kind of think about is yeah. all. Yes. So let's not talk about it. I um, I watched a little program. Got lost in the uh, the YouTube algorithm last night. 
maybe it was a Facebook and then it switched to YouTube. I don't know how it works. It gets the claws in you. Anyway, there's this, there's this fella out there, and I think he's got a group. And he's on the tubes, but he makes a, a living out of getting back to the, to, the, to the scammers now. You know, not only on the phone. Yeah. Uh, but, but, you know, on the computer and uh, all this stuff. There's some pretty complex scams going on. Um, that's getting your your grandgram's money. Your grandgram. Yeah, if you and, have and a grandparent or um, you are one, freaking right. check in on yourself, dude. Yeah. There's scams going on based out of India. So many scams. Based out of North Carolina, and these people are calling you up. They're saying that you want a sweepstakes. They're saying that they're going to send you some money. Yeah. Guess what? They're not. It's a fake check. It's fake, bud. And you might even be able to cash it. Because the bank, it's routing numbers, dummy. Yep. And they can't track them instantly. Because they're still on Microsoft Windows Vista. And it might come back as, here's your 23000 How would you like to use it? And they're going to give you it. But then no, what they're going to do is say, uh-oh. Yep. Oops. All fake checks. Oop, all fake check. I, ring, ring. Yep. Hey, new RSA. Yeah. IRS agents. Hey, this, ring, ring. This person cashed a fake check. Yeah, and they're going to come back, oh, and yeah. they're going to say, well, you owe us the money because that was never real. Yeah, that was never real. And, uh, sorry. Yeah. You know, I, I guess you owe us 25 grand. I don't care who you voted for. No. They don't. They don't. They're just going to take the money out of your account or, or you send you a bill. Yeah, they'll throw it back to you and say, hey, you know, hey, dummy. I know we screwed up by cashing this fake check. Sure did, but, but it's, it's your, your fault. fault. It's, it's your, your fault. fault. So... Just be careful. You yeah. know, there's a, these guys are just a couple guys against all the scam in the world, which is a lot. But the reason I bring it up, yeah, everybody that's got a phone call from some 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 fella from India, they are really pushing. You know, oh my gosh, are they? They are so demanding, and they they they'll actually tell customers, I guess. I guess you call them customers. To shut up, and you know, I mean, just oh, yeah, really, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, shut your mouth. Yeah, they'll say things like that. Shut. Oh, it is where the peanut butter burgers are. Yeah, right. the peanut butter burgers right here. <laughs> oh, we got the sign in the peanut picture. butter burger. So if you guys want to come to Meeker. But I think they're only five bucks. But you know, get your get in yourself, there. And I don't know if you voted for Grant Green, but he got I did. I, <laughs> Grant Green and Joe, Joe for Judge. Yeah. I, I I voted hope, for them. I too. hope he gets it. I like Joe as sheriff of Arizona, but we should know in a couple days. You know, voting's going on right now. Get out yeah. and vote. <laughs> Have you voted? Vote everybody! Yep, it makes a difference, dude. So I you know, on the scam world, number one, all my all my friends from India, calm down. Yeah. You know, you're gonna get you're gonna get seven thousand dollars from, from Graham Graham here pretty quick. Yeah, it, don't it can't be now. You know, it can't be right now. I understand you're trying to hurry them along and that's part of your deal, but one, you don't have to yell at her if you're still at her. You don't have to yell at her if you're going to get seven grand. Just be nice. Don't get greedy. Just be nice. You're getting seven grand. Sit back. You know, sip that tea you like so bad. You, you know the tea that they have that, that, weird, that weird straw? Yeah. You ever seen them? I've heard of it. Well, it's just a little cup. Little cup. So they got voodoo. The, voodoo cup. Voodoo straw. It voodoo. comes up and it's they got their favorite mugs. They're like seaweed straws over there or something. That's about. something weird. Yeah, it's disposable. And and by the way, it makes me hate all of Indian people. I lump you all together. I, I I know a lot of Indian people. Well, your doctor, Dr. Bombay. Yep. He's an Indian. And I don't like him because I think he goes home and scam, does phone scams. I don't think his doctor money is good enough. It. You know what I mean? I've heard him doing it in the doctor's office. Yeah. So, I mean, I don't know if it's just in your blood, you know, that you guys got to run phone scams. and I don't know if it's even appropriate. I like it because I feel like, you know, if, if a culture's using a certain word to describe themselves, yeah. don't get mad at people for then using that word. Sure. And so when a bunch of Indians say they're going home to lump up, yep. Because they like to sleep in piles, doggy piles. They sure do. They're lumps. You know what I mean? We call them lumps. Lumper. They said it first. We just not larpers. Lumpers. They're lumpers, dude. Indian lumpers. And they're everywhere, and they're taking your mom's money. Yep. So freaking save your mom. Hang up the phone. It was just disturbing. I mean, those guys—they're—they're they're real smart. They're, 
those guys that are doing the hack, the anti-hacking, you know, so they'll, they'll hack into their stuff and delete their stuff. Backwards hacking? Backwards hacking, and they try to talk them into, hey, dude, I know where you're at now. Like, I've got satellite and photos. Here you go. Here's yeah. your building. You're in the 12th floor. They'll, they'll turn their computer cameras on so they'll see what's actually going on, and which is a mistake. It's just, you know how Indians dress. they got the sandals. they got those. Talk about people that love long shirts. It's the only thing I like about Indians. They're, they have the longest, you know but they're buttoned up. That smock. Yeah, they button all the way at the front, but they go clear almost their ankles. But Dog, I'm thinking about a new look myself. I well, got To new, match your haircut? To match my haircut. Which well, I your wife did sure. pretty good. Your wife did pretty good. Well, it only hair. took her three hours. Well. But, you know, it was the best three hours I ever spent, probably. So it's better than watching Titanic or or uh, a Green Day concert. Well, anything's better than that, bud. I'll tell you that right now. Get getting scammed by a couple Indians. Is How do, better I need than a, a Green Day? I need concert. some acid, not just to throw in my wife's face. But yeah. <laughs> I need some for uh, denim. It's some denim acid. You gonna do some denim? You gonna do some acid wash? I'm gonna make myself. Finally, gonna make myself my jean shorts. I'm gonna yeah. acid wash them, and then I gotta get me some uh, longer socks, or like knee highs. And I Some need grape, a, grape knee highs. Yeah, I need a tank top. Okay. And a headband. Okay. A couple five pound dumbbells then. You gonna work I mean, out? You could jeans? do a wife beater, but I think tank tops classy. Maybe cut off tank top. It's classy, like of a maybe a Trisha Yearwood, a concert tee that you cut the sleeves off of. That reminds me. Have you seen you seen recent pictures of Shania Twain, buddy? Um. She's had some work. She's that eight. swimmer. Let me. Is that Leah Thomas? Yeah. Name? No. No. I'm talking about the the, the Shania Twain. It feels like a woman. Yeah. Feel like a woman. I thought she sex changed into Leah Thompson. Yeah. Well, I don't. I think she. She's a fucking I, gold medal athlete. I think someone killed her and took yeah. her place. I think. I think it's a swap life because she looks absolutely 100 percent nothing like she did. Like, yeah. I've never. I've never. I never thought she was attractive. I'm going to throw that out there. Well, she's she would have be. I'd hit her with... She makes the hatchet list, but not... Just barely. In her prime. Oh, in her prime, yes. Just barely. But I mean... Now... I have an extra hatchet if... Now it's weird. I, I don't know. I've been seeing... I've got one friend... And I've, I've brought, brought this up on the show. Before I've got... I don't have very... I don't... I got like 70... I got 70 friends on Facebook. I got, I don't know how many friends I got on Facebook. It's not very many. Yeah. But there's, they're there's, really good friends though. There's one that is not, I don't know the person. Oh. And the reason I don't know the person is because I knew the person as far as in name in high school. And I used to sit back in the back of her during, um, I think English. Sure. I can't remember what other class we had together. I think, I, oh, drama. So I took drama because for an easy A because the teacher liked me so bad and I was always an extra. And, you know, I was the deck hand, created oh, all their yeah. all their you, sets. And no, stuff. but you're dramatic. You like drama. That's fine. Um, no, it's I have. song and dance man at heart. It's no, I just like I like song and dance dance men yeah. and women. I, I I like I like to I like to be around because they're they're sometimes funny. You know, I'm still around a, a song and dance man. So. Correct, dude. If there was a drama class for middle-aged losers, I'd be in it. And you could build our set. I'll build your set. Yeah. And, and then, you know, if you need an extra, you know, just a warm body in the back that's dressed in period time clothing or something. I'm I was in uh, drama, too. Was you? But I got, well, I tried out for the play, I guess. Okay. Did you get it? No. I would always uh, enter the stage left, you know, and you get into the stage. Yeah. I'd always do the, uh, I'd always snap. <laughs> so it didn't matter what production I was right. auditioning for. I'd walk out and snap on my steps. Yeah. And they'd be like, well, you don't, you know, Conrad, you don't, what there's no you, snapping. Yeah, Conrad, what are you doing? And I'd be like, <laughs> well, I thought the Jets, it's like, well, no, this is. I'd answer, you know, in snap form. Yeah. So. Uh, this is, <laughs> this is Charles Dickens Christmas. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, and I'm trying out for uh, the the old man with the yeah. weird pajama hat. And, <laughs> I, and I'm trying out for <laughs> Christmas pie. You know, the ghost. Yeah, and so I never got in. Yeah, well, you're just trying to jazz it up. Anyway, this lady 
this gal was, she was so, so cute. I mean, just gorgeous. Curly hair. I married a girl with curly hair. Burnett. I married a girl with brunette. She had really pretty hazel, real light brown eyes. I married a lady with brown eyes. Nice dumper. Real nice dumper. And here's the deal <laughs> with, with her is I was in Catholic school, so our senior year, everybody had to wear the wear the Catholic schoolgirl uniform. Yeah, and she was... My priest gave me a pair of sweats that said, nice dumper. Nice dumper. <laughs> Yeah, had but a, I, had a trap first communion, dude. Nice. <laughs> All right, that guy was a crack up, dude. He was overweight, but he was fuck. He was funny. Funny. Yeah. Nice yeah. dumper. This gal, she had. I mean, just the. the you know those gals that had the. the I, I want to say chubby cheeks, like they, like they, they, they still have even in high school. They still have a little bit of baby fat on their face. Oh yeah. She wasn't fat at all. She was just. I mean, gorgeous, gorgeous. Sure. Um, you could tell that she spent a lot. Of, she was lake life and would lake life look cool because she was always tan. Yeah, back when boats sucked, you know right? I mean? Right. So she did everything right. I think her. I think her dad was uh, either no. He might have been. A, he might have been the military, but he was a he was a cop. But I don't know if he was retired. Sure. He was. A, he was a peace peace officer. Um, but when. Everything happened with my spe- and everybody kind of went away from high school. You know, I never dated her. Unfortunately, yeah. I really wanted to. She was just really cool. But then she well, found you didn't, never asked. Yeah, I mean, you should ask. Yeah, she. I think she knew that I that I I was pretty smitten with her. I was well, pretty yeah, smitten. girls sometimes you think that, but they don't know. They don't get it. You got to tell them. You should yeah. tell her now. No, I'm not going to tell her now. Uh, she. She's doing fine. She's doing. Good. I know, but she, tell her that you used to feel no, that way. No, I don't. You're happy now. No, I don't want to. I don't want to get into that conversation. She found me on Facebook, and I added her. I'm like, hey, yeah, yeah hey, check it go. out. Look, look at you. You're a mom. That's cool. You know, got some kids. Yeah. All things, you know. And she just said, oh, you know, we're living here now, and everything's great. And, and I, you know, I went to college for a little bit. So we we caught up, and this is when Facebook was like first turned its light on. Oh, you know? when Garth got on. When Gar- no, before Garth got on. It was before. Oh, it was wow. pre Garth. That was how. Old and so, but when I became her friend, I was perplexed because it wasn't the person. I mean, she, uh, there's what? no, the name was correct. Yeah. She acted like she knew me, like that person did. Like she said key things that only this girl would know. Did you guys do like? Did you have drama lingo that you throw in there to trick her? No, but like, what line this, did you flub? This person, yeah, this person is not the same person, but answers all the questions like the same person. How do you know it's not the same? There's no way. Because of weight gain or no, nope. just uh, gender she, change. The lady that reached out to me saying that she was this person is a gorgeous lady. Okay. Not as gorgeous as the, the, 12 the girl year old, that I the know. 12 year no, old you no, the, tw- the 18, 19, 20 year old that oh, I knew. Right. They look 100% different. Like this lady killed my friend and stole Did her you life. Did you ask about it? I. I'm afraid to. I don't want to offend her. Because if it is actually the same person, but she's married to a plastic surgeon. So could that be it? Probably. He's made her into what he thinks beauty is. Yeah. And he should have kept his greasy, grimy doctor hands off of her because she doesn't look anything like she did. And it's not just me. I've ran into a couple other people in passing. That you'd bring it up? From my high school saying, hey, dude, what's with this person? And they're like, oh, I know, right? It's not the same person. And let's be cool like, about she's this. she's dead. Yeah. Let's like, not... someone killed her and took her place. Guys, if you're out there listening, let's just go ahead and give her full name so we can all do some research. I'll give you her address. And her address, and we can all follow and kind of... If someone do our go and knock on, knock on a door. No, I'm not going to do that, and I will not. 
I wanna, I'm just saying, but everybody that is from my high school, if you're happening to listen to this, my, my voice right now, you know the person I'm talking about because there's only one in existence. I'm going to say this. Congratulations, dude. You made it. Yeah, you made it. If you're listening, you made it. You get a free taco. Come on, get it. But you know the person I'm talking about, and it is weird. It is so weird. And not, you know. I know the person? No. No. Like, you would have to have been at my school yeah. during those four years. Because I don't think anybody on the outside, that was that was another weird thing. Like, she went to a really weird grade school like I did, so no one really knew her by the time she got to high school. Yeah. Because, but because she was so hot, she made friends really quick. Especially with dudes. Oh, and she's a good actress. She was. She was a great actress uh, and very funny, very cute, had a great laugh, um, and 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 smart. Pretty pretty smart. She had really smart, fast, quick witted, quick comebacks. Um, but yeah, she's dead now because yep. someone killed her and took her identity. I love it when. That's one of my favorite things. Is oh, and she has no pictures from high school, so she yeah she will she has taken off all the stuff from back when. And right. I know there's pictures taken, dude. She's on stage, like you can other, find them. Yeah, other people have shared. Like here's here's Oklahoma that everybody was in. Check yeah. it out and tag everybody was in it. Which Shane, was, great set. Which was but yeah, which was every they even tagged me for yeah. set. Good and, set design. Right. So now what? We see it. She's there. Yeah. We can see her. It's not the same person. Mm. And you're thinking that that's the same thing that maybe happened to Shania Twain? Yes. I don't know. I haven't seen her. I know she's got a documentary out about getting molested by her husband or something. By her brother or something? Her brother's husband. Um, but I haven't watched it. Not I, because I don't like... I love the music. I love... Shania Twain's first album. I know you do. I loved it. I feel like a woman. And when she would... Come on, girls! Oh, man. When she would walk down the stairs at like an SNL set. Oh, yeah. Or when she played Super Bowl. She's dead now. She's dead. God, I would turn... Shut up! I'm watching Shania. You know, I just... I'd get passionate about it. I hated it when people would eat... Oh, yeah. Make noises. Crunching chips. How can I hear the nuance of this woman singing? Smacking gum. If you're, yeah, chewing bubble gum. Go outside. Sit by the pool, dude. Who is that? Hubba Bubba Cam? If he's just kidding, <laughs> go leave. outside. Freaking leave. Shania's on, dude. That was back before surround sound, any of that. It's just regular, straight out of the TV sound. And it sounded great. I'm sad that she's done what she's done to herself. Yeah. Well, she did. She killed Shania and took her life. You can't just go away for a couple years like my friend in high school and go about your life. I, I'm not saying that I, I went around trying to find her or stalked her or whatever. I went to a completely different town. Yeah. Not in a different state. I went traveled my butt up there to, to, to crazy land Lawrence for a couple years. So we lost touch. Sure. There was MySpace, but no one was on it. No one really cared. It was just kind of a thing. I think it's... What do you get? If you're lucky, you live to be 100. You know, that's, oh, pretty, that's average. Real lucky. I think average now in America... Probably 103. Is 80, 81, I think. Yeah, if you're unlucky. I'm just dudes. saying if you're normal and you're lucky, you're yeah. going to be 100 years old. 90-some years old. Today. I think that the first 30 years, you give what, what God gave you. You know, you rock that. Okay. But your next 30 years. You go in and get some work done? Yes. Change it up, dude. I'm, I'm, yeah. if you own a plastic surgery outfit or. Or if you're married to a plastic surgeon. Reach out to us. I'd love to do some BT, some Botox up in my, yeah. wherever you put it, in my noggin, you know. Lips is a big one. Yeah. I'd love to get my lips done, get some laser probably surgery. Need a, probably need a butt lift too. I mean, throw that I'll in do there. do a Brazilian with. butt. I want and take all that. Your, and take your, take your pants. Nice dump, you know. Oh, take my, my priest pants. Take your priest pants, man. Sometimes I wonder if um, people knew me in high school in drama and then seen me now. For sure. If they're confused. For sure. If For I sure. killed my old self. Yeah. You puked up your, yourself. 
You crawled out of that comrade, and you are what you are now. But you, you still, people could say, I can see it. I can kind of see it. I can kind of see it. Maybe. This lady, you know. They're yeah. two different people. And I'm not saying like blackface that far, two different people, but I'm saying pretty close. I mean, pretty close. Yeah. I'm not saying she's racist. She's great. Both of these ladies are great, but one of them killed the other one, for sure. Mm. Well, that's happening, dude. I think that's happening more and more than we... It goes back to the missing photos at Walmart. I mean, all these people go missing. Yeah, but they're all, they're all on Epstein Island. 150,000 children a year... A day. A day go missing. Yeah. So, a lot of people say, we've had border problem this year. Sure. They say that they run in they run like two hundred thousand people a day come over. Sure. From the border. Right. You know, it's most ever. Which is how many kids go missing a but, day. But right. It's yeah. like we're, we're just recycling it we're, out. It we're taking matter. in we're taking in the good and out with the bad. Out with the bad. You know? So maybe maybe that's just nature taking its course. I think it is. You know? And what I got you? one bone to pick with Whataburger. Really? What yeah. a burger. Would you try their shake, buddy? No, I've been thinking about it since I seen <laughs> it. And they don't have peanut butter hamburgers, but <laughs> they sure don't. They should add that. They should definitely add that. Um when I was standing at the line because there was a handicapped woman, could have been Shania Twain, don't know. Um uh, she was ordering single water burger. And she wanted the shake instead of okay. banana shake. Instead of a soda. Instead of a soda. Yeah. She's getting her order right. Spicy ketchup. But Do you want the the limited spicy ketchup the limited edition? She did. She okay. she opted for that. That's good. That's and good stuff. What I noticed to her left and everybody else's right was a poster on the counter that said you can now order Whataburger for groups. Oh. So like a you get a what a box, right? And it showed like there's ten hamburgers, there's Great ten name. chicken sandwiches, yeah. there's ten fries, there's ten drinks, what a box, right? Then it said it's great for parties was one of the things it was great for. Sure. It's great for family get togethers. Great. It's great for book clubs. <laughs> There's a lot of what? Said book clubs. What a burger. Nobody that's ever eaten at your store has read a book. No. <laughs> that's for sure. I thought you were going to say some sort of like orgy or something. You know what I mean? Well, something that would make sense. With the time. That, that would, would make, make sense. sense. Yeah. But you can't. Hey, guys. <laughs> you can't. Don't start the... without me. I got the I got the Whatabox. <laughs> the marketing department at Whataburger. Yeah. These guys don't read and they're just sitting around like, okay, what are we? what's it good for? Huh? Parties. Parties. <laughs> okay, that's what yeah, that um, is. Office meetings. Okay. Oh, I got one book club. <laughs> You're fired. <laughs> Dale. You're fired, Dale. You're a janitor. Yeah. It's a great idea. Like, and Dungeons, we're gonna put it... like Dungeons and Dragons doesn't count as a book, dude. <laughs> we can't I know. think of a better one, so we'll put it on here. I know you're a great GM. And guess what, guys? We're going to put this in Shawnee, Oklahoma. Yeah. Home of the book club. Right. <laughs> Yeah, I'm going to need the what a box. And can I get <laughs> for my book for my club? Book club. <laughs> and then I'll take a large diet <laughs> banana shake, banana pudding shake. Extra pudding. Make it diet. I don't know, guys. Tomorrow at no book the club, 68 you want me to bring pizza or get what a box? I'll get a what a box. What's in it? I don't. <laughs> what about it? Huh? You gotta, you gotta just chill out, Whataburger, dude. Well, but but that's something we would do. I mean that that's something we have to steal now. Of course, you know what I mean. I'm, I've been saying I'd be a great for a book club since I read. Get it. our taco box, great for chess club, <laughs> book club, <laughs> debate. You know what I mean? Like your debate club. <laughs> what is that? Battle of the nations or something? Remember when? kids that were smart about geography would get into a conference room and talk about like they would represent a country and 
negotiate oh, and battle. Yeah. You know what I'm talking about? No. I never was part of it, but it exists. Nation Club, or what was it called? Uh, it's called, like... Greta Thornburg was in it. Ah, dang. Yeah, she would be in it. She'd be great at it. I need to look at her. She just turned 18. Like, 19. I got, I'm on her OnlyFans. So 19. She got an OnlyFans? Yeah. So she, it's scatological. Uh, yeah. Well, she's got some problems. She's got some substance, something wrong. I don't know what she's got. I think she's. I think she's got a little. The soft spot never grew or something on her brain. But, you know. Oh, I just, somebody definitely. Yeah, kicked dropped her. her yeah. Or when she was younger. She almost drowned in the in the in the ice or something. I don't know what happened to her, but, you know, she's just. We and now that's what some of the comedians are saying. It's like we couldn't talk about it. She wasn't eighteen. You know that's kind of bad to talk about someone that's not of age. And I'm like, not really. You no. know, you could put people's kids down. I mean, if they got a big head or something. Oh, I talked about her. If they're big head talk, many I, times. we did. We both yeah. did. I thought she was. I thought she was older than that, though. I did too. I thought she was like twenty yeah. something. You I mean, know, people all, told me she's sixteen. But I thought that was the joke. That's the, yeah. She right. looks fifty. Yeah, she looks. Bad. Oh, the soft. Well, like she you looked, said a soft skull. Yeah, she looked bad. Yeah, she looked bad when she first came out. Like, who's the head, who's this? And why are we listening to her? Yeah, you know. And when did she start singing? Well, yeah, where does she go? <laughs> where did she come from? You know. I, I would always get mad because it's like the opening to a music video. It, it, well, uh, if she had that little dress and put her hair in pigtails, yeah. it was like a was that so, sound of music or something. Right. I would be like, she's wearing the rain slicker. She's sure. talking about weather and acid rain. Yeah. And then I'm thinking, all right, now take off the raincoat and be like Megan the Stallion and shake your money. Yeah. Like, shake let me it. see you twerk. Let's see it. I don't... Are you... Oh, sh you're real. Sure. You're serious. You could talk about... You're just talking about the weather? You could talk about the weather, girl, but let's see you work that pole. You know what I mean? Yeah. I don't know how I'm supposed to, like, subscribe to your Instagram yeah. and follow you on social media right. when you're not twerking for me. And you... I've never seen you topless, so... Next time you go in front of the UN, yeah. how about drop your top a little bit? Just whatever. Greta. At least pop some nips. Yeah, girl. let's go. Let's get it. You're get a fish net nipper. Aren't nipple. you from like Iceland or something in a cold up there? You're telling me your net, your your headlights never pop on? Pop Honestly. them headlights on. Get them up. And then get up there and freaking grind let's that go. podium. Let's go. That's what's so weird about it. Like, what are you saying? Words? Stop it, unless you sing them. Yeah, and, and... Sing them, girl, and shake it. Yeah, get, sing them, shake it, get better with English, too. You know what I mean? Maybe, oh, I hate your accent. I hate your accent. You need to listen to some more, like, DMX. God bless him. God rest his soul. But you need to, you need to get the, a little bit of the albonic. You know, they found out some... some R. Kelly P. No, well, they found that out, too. A 14 year old. But they found that out. Yep. They found out also that... This, you know, the abonics that was so hot back in the 80s when you were born? Yeah. I, it's still going today a little bit. I still bit. do it. I know you do, but you know where they... And that's racist if you do it. You know that, right? Well, well, well but because it came from... It came from a Appalachia. It came from all the... It came from all the, uh, the Irish people in Appalachia because they talked like it. They, they were the first people to, to speak abonics. And so the poor, hanging out with the poor, drinking water, and now we've got abonics. It's well, kind of weird to think I've about. I've never uh, talking about the waterheads in Appalachia. Well, when we, yeah, yeah, yes, and when we say what what you is, and let me ask you a question. I actually, oh, came, that's yeah, that's Appalachian. That came from rednecks. Yeah, that came from that. Well, and rednecks is a derogatory term to the Irish, but no one cares. If you want to watch Whataburger on TV, yeah. First of all, put the book up. You don't need to read that. Put that down, and then just watch. Get out of there. Anything on. Motor Trend TV. Yep. That's like what it is to watch Whataburger. Right. You're going to hear a lot of people say stuff like, small box Chevy. Hey. <laughs> hey, this is a carburetor. It's not as hard as you think. Let's get to it. Yeah, it's a small block Chevy, but we did we definitely gave it a little bit of juice in there. You yep. Know, we sure it, it was thirsty. <laughs> yep. Why don't you look in the trunk? Listen, um, it's a small block 350. It's a small block Chevy. It's a small block Chevy, but I tell you what, it's on the bottle. Yep, got 305 heads, though. Yeah. 305 heads. That's racing. I think it's a sleeper. You're going to hear that a lot, too. <laughs> this one guy pulled let's up. Go ahead, let's go ahead and get this fender done, because I hear <laughs> that Joey's going to have a water box here soon. This one guy pulled up in a 
67 Nova. Nice. 800 horsepower. Yeah. Classic. It's all decked out. Sure. Got the lights underneath. Love it. Clean, new paint, new Got wheels. It. And then he said, I think it's a sleeper. It's like, that's not a sleeper, dude. It looks like a friggin' race car. What's so, what's so funny? It's a sleeper, dude. It is so, it, it, this would be the time to infiltrate that kind of group. Oh, no. It really would. Because I guarantee you, I, I know what 90% of the conver conversation would be is, it's sleep. Hey, look. See that? That's Thad. Thaddeus. Thad, you know what Thad owns? You know what he just bought? Tesla. Yep. That's right. Yep. Because all the street racing, they've like outlawed Tesla because... It'll just win. It wins. Yeah. So, like... Is that a sleeper? Cool. It, you go up against my Tesla in plaid mode. Yeah. Bloop, bloop. And then it just goes because it's a wind-up car. Oh, yeah, dude. If you get a Tesla, I think even their blowtorch will do 0 to 60 in like four seconds. Like they're, yeah, their family. You can ride their blowtorch. Their family sedan does 0 to 60 in like four Two seconds. I think if you grease up Elon Musk and ride him like ride a surfboard, him. You'll he do goes it. zero to sixty. You'll beat that Nova <laughs> for sure. He's got a rib cage on him, dude. You could. Oh yeah, you, you can could dig your toes in there real good. <laughs> that guy's got more freaking ribs than chilies, yeah. dude. He bought. Well, he buys extra, dude. <laughs> He's got. <laughs> Because I'm just saying it's pretty <laughs> it's pretty awesome that all street racing is gone now. Um, it's done. Yeah, it's done. Because someone built something, it's like, just go buy that. You know? Well, all of the new stuff, I mean, go buy a new Ford Taurus. It'll outrun anything. You know, if you get a show, a Taurus show yeah. right now, yeah. it'll outrun all of it. Right. And it gets 54 miles a gallon. Yeah. And yeah. you can listen to it. Shania Twain, you can hear well, it. Well, that's what I'm saying. Some people say, oh, well, go get the new Hellcat. You know, they just came out with the, with the new charger. It's an electric charger that makes the sound yeah. that a Hellcat does, which is, by the way, stupid. Stop. If you're going to do an electric car, yeah. do an electric car. Stop well, that's stickers just like on the outside. Vegans wanting meat to bleed. You know what I mean? It's yeah. like this plant, Why? this plant burger bleed. Like, what are you talking about, dude? Dude, I saw, dude, I saw this little Asian lady. Make make uh make dinner for her her little Asian man, and she grilled she she fried watermelon, dude. So she done that the watermelon steak like this, yeah. And she put it in the wok, and she like, like yeah, burn it basically, right? And she stuck it in some sort of rice cover and fry thing back in the oil and fried the outside to a golden brown, yeah. And she sliced it, and it looked like tuna. Yes, I have now, seen that. Before. I'm sure it tastes like watermelon because that's what it is, dog. But your eyes say tuna, your taste buds say watermelon. You take that down to Katrina, Hurricane you, Katrina. But you take that five dollars a, a steak. So I'm saying you take that anywhere in Louisiana. You're, yeah. You're anywhere rich. in Louisiana. Guess what happens? That's a lottery ticket. How much do you want to sell? Because you're going to sell it all. It's already sold, dude. <laughs> I mean, it's not even done yet. Get a Falcons training camp, dude, and you're done. And a lot of those guys voted today. Um, Thank goodness. Yep. I think Joe is... Yep, Joe's a judge. Just came in. I voted for him. Yeah, so make sure if you haven't voted yet, send in your ballots. Yep. And I'm sorry, you know, like, just forgive us. Just forgive us. We're still going to put on a hell of a show, you know, for you guys. But there's so many stuff that is packed up down the pike that we just... We just got to take care of some stuff, ladies. So allow us to do that. Just give us some space. Back up. Yep. Just turn on Shania Twain. We'll be back. Think about Elon Elon Musk's ribs. <laughs> you know what I mean? And go get yourself a rack of baby backs. When's the last time you've treated yourself? Get down there. Get down to Chili's, guys. Get down to Chili's. Whose bed have your boots been under? Two for 20. Southwestern egg roll. 
Feel like a woman. That was on her album, Southwestern Egg Roll, dude. Yeah. Well, that, was, that was the best. All right, guys. Turn on the eagle. Listen to Alex Jones. Yeah, uh, he's stay right. Stay woke. Stay woke with Alex. Uh, Greta Thornburg will be on Alex Jones tonight. Sure will. So Stripping. So tune in. <laughs> Stay woke out there. Um, oh, here's the question of the day. Yep. If you wear a tea back, I do. And then put on a wife beater. I will. And then do a headstand. Think of what that looks like. It looks like a little demon running around. You know what I mean? And if you just look at the clothes and cut, you know, we'll try it out. I'll have to draw it for you. Are you sad? Or how Wear are you, a tea back. How are you looking at me when I'm on my head? No, what I'm saying from is the back. I, or no, the... I'm uh, from the front. I'm just looking at your clothes. Yeah. Wear a wife beater, same color as a tea back. Okay. Put a tea back on. Okay. Now put a wife beater on. Okay. Okay. Where the straps from the tea back come up is the same place your your wife beater straps are. Now do a headstand. That looks like a little alien running around. Well, what was a head beat? Your pee pee. <laughs> We're just looking at clothes, buddy. <laughs> and the bulge would be in those. So put a little two do- two dots. Yeah. And then the the, the straps would be his legs. I I'll have you do it, and I'll just take your body out, and you'll see what I'm talking about. <laughs> I'm tr- I'm trying to picture it, but I okay. Well, here the legs are bothering me. The legs are bothering you. Yeah. If you just look at the clothes, bud, the straps become the clothes. Here you go. So, let's say this is you, okay? Yeah. Right? This is you, standing up. Now, you have a tea back on. A tea back goes right here. Yeah. And it has little straps that go up here. Film this. <laughs> See that? So, here's your tea back. Yeah. And it goes up to straps, okay? So, when your body's not there, now you put a, now you put a wife beater on. And guess what? The straps are right here. Yeah. It only comes down to about here. So, then you turn it upside down. Uh-oh. Uh oh! Now what do you got? Here's your PP or a tea back, right? And it comes up here, and it comes up here. But then you put your wife beater on. Guess what? That wife beater, same straps, and it comes down here like this. So now you got a little dude. <laughs> That's just you upside down. I don't see it. Okay, hold on. Now watch. That's upside down, yeah, right? right? So guess what? Here's your head. Uh oh! There you go. And there's your legs right there. But you take him out, you're standing upside down. Now do you see it? And it's a dude within a dude. If you just take the clothes of a tea back, that becomes your dude. There's your there's your tea back right there, buddy. A double dude. And you're a double dude. You are one dude that's getting birthed by the tea back dude. See? Yeah. Now if you go right side up, you're the dude birthing the birthing the tea back baby. See? <laughs> that makes perfect sense. Um, to do that. Yeah, do that. Got him a tea back and a, and a wife beater. Try it on. Yep, let's go to thewaterhead.com. Get yourself a tea back. And uh, stay tuned. We're going to be posting minute by minute updates of the election on waterhead.com. Yep. So if you want to follow along, please do. We'll see you there. So stay woke. Stay woke, guys. <laughs>